Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to Bullseye, creating our first iOS application. Now in this video, we're going to be learning about the next UI element, and that is going to be a switch. Right now, our game is very simple. A random number is generated, we move our slider to what we think that random number is, we hit check, and either we're right or we're wrong. But right now, our game is very, very hard. It's very hard to hit 35 exact, since there's 100 different numbers that we can move our slider to. So that's where the switch comes in. The switch is going to introduce a new game mode. Either you can have the exact game mode on, or you can have the exact game mode off. If your exact game mode is off, then what we're going to do is we're going to create a range. If our number that's randomly generated is 35, we're going to create a range that's plus 3 and minus 3. So if you move the slider between 32 and 38, any one of those numbers, then you are correct. And by doing so, we make the game slightly easier for people to get right. Okay? So that being said, let's go ahead and figure out how to do that. First thing first, we're going to need a switch. Okay, so go ahead and in your objects pane, in your main storyboard, we're going to go ahead and drag over a switch. Okay, I'm placing my switch at the bottom of the screen just for now. Again, we'll have a lecture just for playing around with the UI and making the app look good. But right now, just go ahead and throw on a switch and let's go ahead and throw on a label. Now, the label's sole purpose in this application is just going to be to say, hey, do you want the exact mode on or off? So exact mode, okay? So we have our exact mode label, we have our switch, and right now let's go ahead and turn off our switch. Fantastic. So we have a label and a switch on our view, and now the next thing you have to do is connect our switch, whoops, let's go ahead and connect our switch to our view controller, okay? So let's go ahead and click on this and control click to our view controller. Again, if you don't see this side by side view, remember to hit the assistant editor again, top right of your screen, this, this Venn diagram image, just click that and your view controller should pop up right next to your main dot storyboard. Once you have that, let's go ahead and add an outlet for our switch. Again, it's going to be called exact switch. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying that, Hey, shouldn't this be an action? It's a user interaction. When the user hits the switch, it goes on, it goes off. Something should happen when the switch is hit. Well, if you think about it, what's really happening is when the user hits the check button, we want to see if the exact mode is turned on or off. In that scenario, we're trying to act as a property of the switch and we only need an outlet. So once we have the exact switch outlet, we can go ahead and access the value of the switch to see if it's on or off. So in our check value function, right now we're just saying if random number is equal to the exact value of our slider. However, before this, we need to have an if else scenario to see hey, is our exact switch turned on or off? So over here, we're gonna go ahead and say, if exact switch dot is on, okay? So this is again, it's a function of the exact switch um, object. And the is on function basically tells you, hey, is our switch on or off? So it's a true or false Boolean value. So if exact switch is on is equal to false. So in this case, our exact switch is off, which means we need a range then we're going to go ahead and say if random number is equal to or greater than um okay actually you know what, let's go ahead and do this if int num slider dot value is greater than random number minus three right and int num slider dot value is less than random number plus three so in this scenario, let's go ahead and just use greater than or equal to and less than or equal to just to give ourselves a bigger bound. And now what we can go ahead and say is if both of these things are true and the values in between both of those bounds, then we're going to go ahead and say result label is equal to this result label text is you were right. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and copy this else statement again and just say, hey, if you're not in that range, then sorry, you missed. Okay. So this is our if sort of statement, and I'll go ahead and put it in our main view so that it's readable. Over here, I'll go ahead and explain the code again. If our exact switch is on, so if our switch is turned on, this value returns either true or false. So it can either be true, it is on, or false, it is on, it is off. So if this value is equal to false, then we're going to go ahead and say that we're using a range. So if our slider value is greater than the random number minus three, and less than or equal to the random number plus three, then we're going to go ahead and say you're right. Otherwise you are wrong and else. So if the exact switch is turned on, 
Then we're going to go ahead and say, so I'm going to go ahead and tab this code. Then we're going to go ahead and use a specific value. So it has to be equal to the random number. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and run this code. Again, all we did is we added a switch and we created a range value. So now if the switch is off, we're going to use a range. So move the slider to 47. I know immediately that my slider is at 50. So I'm going to go ahead and just move this slightly to the left and hit check. And fantastic. You were right on point. Bullseye. Now, the reason why this worked is because since our switch is turned off, it's false. We're going to go ahead and see over here that our slider just has to be in the range of the number provided. So plus three minus three. If you run this application again, and this time turn the switch on. So opening up bullseye, running the code again, we have our switch down below. Let's go ahead and turn this on and try doing 28 now. So 28 might be over here and hit check. Okay, I missed. So even though I might be in the range, since my switch is turned on, it runs this part of the code. And over here, my number has to be the exact same as the random number generated. Anyways, fantastic job, guys. In this lecture, we learned about the switch. We learned how to use this property, access value, and we made our bullseye game slightly bit more complicated. Fantastic job. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.